Here, Draft Dr. Phil rants. Guys, here it is in a nutshell. You know, I come from football and football is my life. So when I, everybody's going to have their opinions. So I'm going to share my rant. As a coach, I believe you prepare the entire football team to play a game. So with that and the whole understanding that there is a Justin Fields on the roster that's like got this electricity to him and you saw it in the first week and you know it since you've drafted him that he's going to be the franchise signal caller with the blame you put on Mitch and everything became the perfect storm of stupidity when it comes to Coach Nagy because he doesn't have his team prepared. The, the team is a reflection of a head coach. My father taught me that as I took the controls to be a head coach. So to put Andy Dalton out there without your starters, Mooney, Allen fucking Robinson sitting over there, David Montgomery. I don't care. Two series. You go out there and you prepare your football team. This is the same kind of shit as bubble wrap gate two years ago with Mitch. All the starters. Let's go drive golf carts out there to play a football game in front of your fans. I don't care what anybody else says. Here, I'm telling you, you prepare this football team to go out there because Business decisions are unacceptable. From Eddie to Robert Quinn to the offensive tackles to the running backs to the offensive linemen to the special te special teams, special teams. You could have Special Olympics out there and seen better effort. The reality is this is a wake-up call. Unfortunately, this isn't Matt Nagy's first go-round. This isn't. That's why it's so disappointing. And it's unfair to Andy Dalton. It's unfair. It's unfair to the entire football team and it's unfair to the city of Chicago. And this is what I said. You're gonna have the Ross Tuckers and all these other fuckers about Charles fucking Leno. He's gone! He sucks! He sucks in Washington! That story's over, but it's gonna be another story. It's gonna be another story, right? because you got the worst story that everybody's overlooking except this network, and that's Matt Nagy. He's in way over his head. You are not the play caller. You are not the play caller. You hear it, hear it in Bears Hour Live Open. Focus on being the head coach. Focus on being the leader of men. You're going to come out here and laugh and explain away an embarrassment. I don't care. It's the second preseason game. No! Get your guys out there for two series. Two. Playing with fire and passion. The crowd is chanting, we want Justin. We want Justin. The city is booing, fairly or not, Andy Dalton. And you know who's responsible? The fucking bald-headed fuck of negativity. That's who's responsible, because he's not prepared. This moment is big. It's big because you know somebody's waiting in the, the, the batter's box that's a home run hitter, and that's Justin Fields. So you're setting up Andy and your whole freaking team to fail because you're not putting your goddamn starters out there. You think it's fair to Andy? It's not. It's not. And it fucking crumbled over, toppled over backwards. Because you got overwhelmed by the Buffalo Bills at home. And granted, this is preseason. This doesn't count. This is a glorified scrimmage. But I'm just telling, I'm speaking to him. Matt Nagy is a horrible head coach. He's got horrible preparation. We all know. My father's talked about it. We've had Olin Krutz talk about it. We've had every analyst that speaks truth of Steve Edwards talking about it. He just throws plays up there and nothing goes 
against encounters whatever play you have so trips right one play i formation the next bubble screen over here let's throw let's throw curls 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 i said in my i get so frustrated the city of chicago lawrence funk get a chair for matt Nagy's curls let's do curls all day attack down the field don't run with a 30-year-old running back, like Shane said. Get one, two care, first series, give it to Damian. Get David Montgomery out there if he's not hurt. Then take him out. This is what you do. You prepare your team for the season. Now you're, you're way behind. You are overwhelmed. You are embarrassed. And now you as a head coach have the responsibility to turn this around. How you're gonna do it is because of your piss poor planning. Piss poor. Tackling, all of that stuff is a reflection of him. Because it's okay to worry about Greg Braggs and whoever else filming practice. But maybe the Buffalo Bills allow every fan to film practice because they keep their players accountable on Front Street on front street go in there eddie and wrap up stop him and hold him to a field goal and then you can hit stand on the sideline like a pro bowl football player and watch the young kids that's what this is about but you're going into the season with all these flags of unknown and it starts with a quarterback because you can't figure out play allen robinson and his 18 million if he gets hurt, that's part of the fucking game of football. You don't bubble wrap these guys. James Daniels isn't out there. How many of them are out, are out there? Three series, two series, whatever. He's talked about it, but he's never about it, Shane. I, we got to get these guys calloused up. Got to get them calloused up. But nobody's out there to help get you prepared for the season. And listen, I'm not panicking. I'm not panicking at all. I'm just telling you, Cleveland Browns beat the Pittsburgh Steelers 50 to nothing in a preseason game. The Pittsburgh Steelers go on to win the Super Bowl. This, this is okay in regards to the scoreboard and everything. Inside the dynamics of the, the game is preparation and want to. You want to tackle, you will tackle. You want to block, you will block. It's about effort. And there was a lot of business decisions on both sides of the football. And it starts with the pedigree of preparedness. And that is on the head coach, Shane. And that is my rant. <laughs> Here, Draft Dr. Phil rants during each and every Bears Hour Live.